Welcome to this video. I'm going to show you how to cut two objects like this. Here I have a note. Barev, hi. If you want to delete a note, you can do this. But how can you add one? Grab the note and type whatever you want. If you don't like, delete. You can close and open your note. And if you want to delete, open it, click inside of it, and then delete. Okay, that's that. And then I've cut this object using the Scribble tool, and I'm going to show you how. Try to guess it. Maybe you can guess because you already see like how I have done it, right? Let's bring, uh, so I'm going to put these shapes to another side and I'm going to hide them. If you want to hide something, click this um, hide icon here and then it will hide. If you want to bring it back, you can show. The light bulb turns it on and off. Okay. Uh, I will make a similar shape to show how this works. I started from a cube and I made it a little bit taller. And if you open this menu, you can increase the radius and make it have a, a rounder shape. And let's make it a little bit bigger. So this is the shape and the next thing uh, we need to grab scribble and put it in on top of the front face. And now we can draw something like this. And we can, um, yeah, we want to basically have a shape like this that will cut our main one and to make it like we want it to uh, kind of be filled with it's better if I show you here let's go there so I'm gonna make this a hole and I'm gonna cut the first shape with it but uh, this area is empty so we need to fill it out Let's go back to scribble and fill this part. So we can just color it with draw tool, but also we can grab this other tool. It says draw shape. We can kind of fill it like this. It's easier and faster. We can do it in a few steps or we can just draw a bigger shape and have it kind of filled. If you want to clean it up, you can kind of be more precise and make a better shape, but this will work. Done. The next thing is that we want to make sure this shape is, uh, um, let's look at it from front view. We want to make sure that this hole is going to cover our red shape. So we make it a little bit taller than the first shape. And then uh, let's make this much thicker to cover our shape.
So place it where you think it's gonna look good and then uh, make sure it covers like your shape from top and bottom and then from the sides. And then, uh, sorry, okay. And then the next thing we need to do is to cut the shape. But before cutting, uh, let's make a copy of this one. Just click here or press Control D on your keyboard and put it somewhere else. Just keep it for later. And then let's group this one with this one. So click here to group or control G on your keyboard. Now you have one part of the shape. And the next thing is we can make this one a hole and then cut this shape with it. So let's make a copy of this shape and move it here and then make this a cutter and cut our shape with that one. Let's group these two by selecting both and grouping. Now we have this other part. We can give it another color to see it better. And now you can just use your keyboard, press the arrows to bring it back. Here you go. So yeah, that's kind of fun to make. Now let's say you want to save your save a picture of your um, your project. You can go here, send to, and then from here you can download the picture. Also, if you want to have the three D object, you can export it from here. Let see what this will give us. So when we click export, it will say include everything in design or only the selected ones. So it's a good idea to know what we are exporting so we can select whatever we want to export. And then when we select, we go to export. Um, this will be on. Again, we can choose everything or we can just grab the selected thing and choose our format obj stl or this other one or this one if you want to see more like all the formats what what they do go here more information and you will find like all the explanations about what each one is and the use of um the file formats so yeah yes that was it for today i hope you enjoyed it and if you liked it give it a thumbs up and um yeah subscribe and see you next time bye